we're at the Henrico Boating Access Area on Lake Gaston in Northampton County where we're doing a renovation project, taking out the old ramp and the old dock and putting in two new ramps and eventually we'll be putting in a floating dock. So at this site, we're gonna do the push slabs today. To put in a new ramp, we usually find a flat area on the site where we can pour the slabs and let them cure for 28 days if possible to harden. And, and then we use a bulldozer to push it in and it slides down onto the grade that we want. And we just measure, make sure we reach the depths we're looking for, make sure we're in the right alignment for what works for that site. So our construction crew has pushed them down the aggregate ramps that they had prepared. We pushed in 36 feet today. They'll start forming up now for the next 26 feet, which will bring us to the top of the ramp. We have reinforcement that sticks out the first pour, and then when we form up the next ramps, this rebar goes into that next concrete and locks everything together real solid to really give a good grip for the ramps. And then once they get the next section of ramps in, they'll pour the abutment that goes in between them, and our uh, floating docks go right down in between the two ramps. Projects like this at our boating access areas and public fishing areas come directly from vessel registration funds, which the Wildlife Resources gets here in North Carolina from the users that come in, register their vessels, and then come out and use these sites. And we use those funds in partnership with the Sport Fish Restoration Program to fund all sorts of renovations at the boat ramps throughout the state. For more information about these projects, go to ncwildlife.org.